Welcome to our lesson on finding the equation of parallel and perpendicular lines. So for this lesson, we need to know that when lines are parallel, so here we have L1 and L2, which run parallel to each other, need to have the same gradient. So the gradient of L1 is 2, the gradient of L2 is also 2. And the gradient of perpendicular lines, well, if L3 crosses L1 at 90 degrees, the gradient of L3 will be negative 1 half. And we can use these two facts to work out the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines that intersect another line. So in this question, we have the equation of a line 3x plus 6y plus 11 equals 0. And we've been asked to work out the equation of a line that is parallel to this and passes through 0, 7. So the easiest way to identify the gradient of this line is in the form y equals mx plus c. So we'll take away the 3x and the 11 from both sides. which means needs will cancel, so we're left with 6y is negative 3x minus 11, and we'll divide both sides by 6. So the equation of a straight line in the form y equals mx plus c tells us that the gradient of this line is negative 1 half. This means that the gradient of a parallel line will also be negative one half. And we can use the equation for a gradient of a line, which is the change in y divided by the change in x, to work out the equation of this parallel line. So negative one half is y minus the seven, this seven here, over x minus zero. By moving the x to the other side, we'll multiply both sides by 2, and we'll move the x and the y to the same side. So here we have the equation of the parallel line. Okay, let's try another question. So in this question, we've been given the equation of a line is 3x plus 4y minus 1 equals 0. And we've been asked to work out the equation of a line that is perpendicular and passes through the point 2, 5. So again, we'll begin by working out the gradient of this line here. So we'll move the 3x and the negative 1 to the other side. And we'll divide both sides by 4. So the gradient of a line we've been given, m, is negative 3 over 4. So the gradient of a perpendicular line will be the negative reciprocal of this, which is 4 thirds. Now we can use the equation for the gradient to write the line in this form. We'll substitute in 4 thirds, and this is y minus 5 over x minus 2. We'll multiply out the 3 and the x minus 2. We'll expand out the brackets. And we'll move all the terms to the left-hand side. So this is the equation of a perpendicular line. Okay, let's try two more questions. So here we've got an exam style question where this is the line L1 and this is the line L2. And we've been given the line of L1 is this. And we've been asked to work out the coordinates of A and B, which are here and here. And to find the ratio of the area of OAB to the area of OAC. Do you want to try this question yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we'll begin by working out the coordinates of A and B. And we've been given x plus 2y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now at A, we know that y is equal to 0. So we'll substitute y equals 0 into this equation. So we have x minus 10 is equal to 0. So x will equal 10. And at b, we know x equals 0. So we have 0 plus 2y minus 10 is 0. So y will equal 5. So from this information, we can work out the area of triangle OAB, which is half a base of 10 multiplied by the height of 5. So this is 25. But now we need to work out the area of OAC 
which is this triangle here. Well, we already know the base is 10, but now we need to know the perpendicular height, which is the y coordinate at c. To do this, we're going to work out the equation of the line L2, which means we need to find its gradient. And we can work out its gradient using the negative reciprocal of this line. So we'll write it in the form y equals mx plus c. So the gradient is negative one half, which means the gradient of L2 will be positive two. And because it crosses through the origin, the intercept is zero. So now we know at this point, the y values are the same. So two x is equal to 10 minus x over two. We can solve this equation. So the x value is two. If x is two, we know the y value will be two x, which is four. So the perpendicular height of OAC is 4, which gives the area of that triangle as 20. So in the simplified terms, we can divide both by 5 and we get 5 to 4. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.